the differential forms of the fundamental laws tutorial number three consider two long horizontal parallel parallel plates with a viscous incompressible fluid placed between them the two plates move with two different constant velocities there is no pressure gradient and the only body force is due to the weight starting with the Navier-Stokes equation determine an expression for the velocity profile for laminar flow between the two plates here you could uh, imagine that we have two plates like this and this between these two plates there is uh, a fluid and the, the gap here is mentioned as h we take uh, this direction is x and this direction is y axis however this plate is not fixed the bottom plate here is moving from left to right with a velocity v1 and the top plate here moving from right to the left with velocity v2 so uh, starting with a Navier-Stokes equation as mentioned in this question we need to determine the velocity profile for laminar flow between two plates these two plates we know that uh, the motion of the movement is uh, is focused in x direction so we take uh, we use Navier-Stokes equation in x direction and uh, this Navier-Stokes equation is written like this then we need to make a few assumptions so we could simplify our Navier-Stokes equation with our assumption the first one is we take this calculation as y is one dimension so the value of v and w will equ will equal to zero bec because there are no movement or there are no motion in y and x direction so we also take uh, the, the flow is a uh, st steady state so the value of du dt is equal to zero uh, as mentioned in the question it is in co incompressible flow so the value of rho here is constant it also mentioned in the question the zero pressure gradient means that del p over del a is equal to zero we assume that it is fully developed flow means the du del u over del a is equal to zero and because it is a wide channel means the influence of width of the channel is not very important so we take del u over del z is equal to zero so this is our assumption and then we will use this assumption to simplify uh, our Navier-Stokes equation so this is a uh, x direction Navier-Stokes equation this is the long term of Navier-Stokes equation you may refer this equation uh, in our previous notes then uh, we could simplify that the terms here can be simplified as the capital V over dt and it is equal to zero because it is a steady state and then uh, there are no gravity and uh, also the pressure gradient is zero and then we simplify this term into mu del square u over del y square it is because there are no motion of y direction and z direction so this is the terms of simplified terms from our Navier-Stokes equation based on our assumption as we mentioned previously so this is the mathematical expression but this is not the velocity profile please remember that in this question we need to derive or we need to get the velocity profile for that situation so be, we need to to get the velocity profile here so we need to solve it by the integration method so del square u over del y square is equal to zero now and then we could split the power of two here by right like this del over del y del u del y here and then we bring the del y here to the left side so we have zero times del y equal del del u over del y so the trick is please remember 
uh, we want to solve this term by using the integration method. So integral means uh, it can be done with zero. So we let, please do not say that zero times del y here will equal to zero because that will ruin your calculation. So please let uh, this term uh, as it is and then we integrate both sides. So we have the integral zero d del y equal will become zero and we will get uh, a constant here. So the integral of 0 dy will have 0 plus constant 1, c1 here. And the integration of del du dy will give us it itself. So mean the integral of del, del u del y will give us del u del y. So we uh, solve this term, we could get c1 is equal to del u over del y. Next, what we next to do is we solve the uh, these terms. So we bring the del y here to the left side. So we have uh, del y c1 equal del u. So it can be written like this. So to solve this problem, we again do the integral uh, so, uh, solution. We integral both sides, so the integration of c1 del y will give c1y and we could have another constant value here, so we mark as c2. And integral of 1 d del u will give us u. So this is the final terms we get to show the velocity profile of that uh, two plates. So we could write as u equals c1y plus c2. However, c1 and c2 is the constant. So we need to determine the value of this constant, c1 and c2, by using boundary condition. How to determine the boundary condition? So please imagine that we have two plates like this. One, this is the bottom plate, move from left to right uh, and then we have a molecule that stick on this surface. This molecule is not moving because there are no slip condition occur at this uh, place at this condition. However, because the plate is moving with a V1 here, we could say that the molecule here is also moving with the velocity of V1. Same condition occur at for the top for the top plate here. The molecule is actually stick uh, on the surface of the top plate here. However, this top uh, plate will uh, is move moving with a v2 velocity. So we could say that this molecule also move with a v2 velocity relative to the uh, fluid here. So the boundary condition means we list out the condition that occur at the boundary of the fluid. So in this situation, we could say that the boundary of the fluid is actually at the bottom plates here and also at the top plates here. So we could write down the boundary condition as at y equal to 0. So this is the y direction and the location here is y equal to 0. The velocity of u, the velocity of this molecule is equal to v1 because this plate is moving with v1 velocity. And at this condition, at the top plates here, the y is equal to h and please remember that in the question, uh, it is given that the gap of these two plates is equal to h. So we take uh, uh, the coordinate of y here is y equal to h and the velocity of the molecule at this uh, coordinate is minus v2 because uh, the direction of velocity here is reverse direction from the positive direction of x here. So we give as minus v2. What we need to do is we substitute the equation 
uh, with the boundary condition. So if we substitute with y equal to 0 and u equal to v1, we could get v1 equal to c2. Then we substitute the uh, boundary condition number 2, which is y equal to h and u is equal to minus v2. We could get it is equal, uh, another equation, which is minus v2 equals c1h plus c2. Then we could uh, simplify the terms of c1 here as minus v2 plus v1 over h. Now we get the value of c1 and also the value of c2. Then we substitute the in the equation we could have the final equation become u equal minus v2 plus v1 over hy plus v1. Sometimes people write like this u y equal minus v2 plus v1 over hy plus v1. So the meaning of y here, y in bracket here is u in the function of y. Please be, be careful, sometimes students will uh, uh, take as u times y. It is not uh, u times y, it is just a function. So the how to read this one is u in the function of y.